Mexicans get a test, but no black guys get a test. You're going to be like, this some bullshit, right? At least, even if you was going to shit on a nigga and not promote us, at least give us the test and act like we had a chance. You know what I mean? He don't even talk about fighting no black fighters, dog. He don't even mention hey, black Rallo, fighters as potential opponents. I got a question for you. I got a question for you, Rallo. Is it really, is it Golden Boy promotion, then, then TNT promotion is a, is a small branch, or is it TNT promotion and, and Golden Boy a small branch? Which one is it? It's, I don't, I can't tell. You know what I mean? I don't really see shit going on with TMT promotions in a sense. Like, I don't see it so, uh, all right, for instance, for instance, for instance, Mayweather and Canelo fought in September, and all you seen was Golden Boy promotions. You would have thought it would have been yeah. like a cross promotion. You would have seen some TMT shit, and you know what I mean? But you didn't really see it. All you seen was Golden Boy shit. So it almost seems like, is a sub branch of Golden Boy almost. You know what I mean? It's just a fact. I think it's a very small branch. Yeah. Mayweather is a Golden Boy fighter. He sit up there and try to talk about, oh, I beat all your Golden Boy fighters. Man, you beat all the fighters that they had groomed for you, the fighters they had planned, mapped out for you, so you can get your little easy way. So people won't have to see you be all sensitive and cry about everything. Can't ask you questions about legacy because you don't fight for legacy. Can't ask you questions about the belt because the belt don't make you. But, yeah, you fight Robert Guerrero because he was your number one contender, but you can't fight Manny Pacquiao and he's your number one contender. Oh, now all of a sudden this is a threat. Man, throw that belt away. You want to throw your belt in the garbage like Riddick Bodine is saying, hey, now Lennox Lewis can be a garbage picker. Now you say that Manny Pacquiao can be a garbage picker because well, that, that's where the belt is at. It's in the garbage. Yeah, though, that's kind of that's kind of disrespectful to the game. You know what I'm saying? The game that didn't gave you a whole lot. You know what I mean? The game that didn't gave you a whole these and, and even like in the interview, the dude said that the WBC made up a belt just so Floyd can have one. You know what I'm saying? They called him the the ultimate champion or something or the. The super champion is not the super champion. It was some some new shit that they made up. That's disrespectful to the game. In it, well, first of all, all these belts are already disrespectful to the sport as a whole. Then you have a single organization giving out multiple belts in the same weight class. You got three champions in the same weight class from one organization. You already broke the shit up between lightweight and welterweight and made another division and made extra belts there. Then you're making three and four belts in the same weight class. Then you mean to tell me that you're going to give up the belt just because you don't want to fight this nigga. And that's cool if you're just going to give up the belt because you don't want to fight him. But don't give me no shitty ass reason why you ain't going to fight him. Because you've been fighting shitty motherfuckers already. You fought shitty ass Robert Guerrero, who ain't never been on pay-per-view at all. But you ain't heard shit about no pay-per-view numbers and none of that shit when it came to fighting Robert Guerrero, right? You ain't heard nothing about no pay-per-view numbers and all of that shit when it comes to fighting Amir Khan. You know what I'm saying? I don't even remember Marcos Madonna fighting on a pay-per-view undercard. And he's in the running for a fight. Come on, man. Really? But when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, now you need to see what his numbers did in his last fight. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Be for real. I mean, don't... Listen, man. The, the one thing I can give him credit for, he just finally just flat out said, nigga, the fight ain't gonna happen. So we can quit talking about that fight. We can just stop talking about the fight. You know what I'm saying? It's almost... This is this is this is what I told this is what I told Zone. And um I think all of us on here, we all, you know what I'm saying, we got a girl, we got we in a relationship and shit. You know what I mean? We 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 all in a relationship. So let's say we we thought about stepping out and shit. Some girl we got our eye on. So, you know, we like, girl, come on, man, what's up? You know, when you gonna, you know, when you, when you gonna let me hit that? And she say, well, shit, I know you got a girl, but all right, well, if you want to do something, you got to 
take me out. Oh, shit. Okay, that's cool. We can go out on a date. That's what's up. I ain't got no problem with that. Then you take her out on the date. And then she say, well, ah, the date was cool. You know what I'm saying? The food was good. That was cool. But how about let's go on a trip? Why don't, why don't you take me out on a trip? you like, well, shit, you know I got a girl. That's going to be hard to pull off. But fuck it. I figure something out. Two months, three months down the line, y'all motherfuckers in Miami chilling for a week. So you get down to Miami and you like, yeah, I'm finna get this pussy now. So after all that, after all that, after all that, you go through all that. And finally, still here it is. She like, well, you know what? That was cool. Fuck that. You need to break up with your girl. You like, bitch, what the fuck? That wasn't even in the, how, how you just gonna throw that curveball in there? That ain't even in the plan. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't even part of the part of the part of the fucking situation. How the fuck you just gonna throw that in there now all of a sudden? You could have just said you weren't gonna give me no pussy. And I'd have left this shit a, 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 a go. I would have left it alone a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 four, five, six months in, but in this situation, we eight, nine years or or five or six years in. You could have just said you weren't gonna fight the motherfucker from the get go. And we would have been okay, like, you know what I'm saying? We've been all right with that. But after you done strung motherfuckers along, year after year after year, and finally you talking about, I ain't going to fight the motherfucker. Because you remember before it was like, he got to lead his promoter. And finally this nigga just said, I ain't going to fight the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you could have just said you weren't going to give me no pussy. I'd have been all right with that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to give you no pussy, dog, because you got a girl. I couldn't have been mad at that. Y'all think it's gonna put that nigga in history, man? Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. Mayweather had was stop. He hasn't fought and has hasn't had a reasonable competitive fight since De La Hoya. After he won that fight, he took a deep breath and like, <gasps> <laughs> now you know what I'm saying? Now I can stop fighting. I can finally stop. Man, that's what all the cheers was for um, after the uh, after the uh, De La Hoya fight. He was like, oh my god, now I can. Ooh, I can stop fighting, man. Man, I can stop fighting these hard fights. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm finally done with that, Leonard. I mean, man, I'm, I'm, you told me we were gonna get here one day, and we here. Now go line up. Now go back in the back room and go in the lab, and then go line up all the bombs, man. So what do you think, uh, Floyd Mayweather? History gonna fall at after all this nonsense? Or even if you were to retire right now, take that Mir Khan stuff out of the equation. Right now, what would you place in that in history? Yo, call me back, man. Call me back. Hello? Yeah, what happened to boxing talk? Nigga went off? I don't know. What, hey. what, what, what do you would place so in his place in history right now? I would uh I would say that he was the second or third best fighter of his era. To me, he's still not better than Roy Jones in his prime. And and the, and the okay. reason I say that is because Roy Jones fought everybody, the bums, the niggas who was okay, the niggas who was good. He fought them all. He and he fucked around, lost some. He won a whole bunch. You know what I'm saying? But Roy Jones put it in the ring. And see, you can't just go by a nigga not losing because. Everybody can strategically pick around and not lose. Not losing don't make you great. You know what I mean? Not losing. Listen, dog. Listen. Listen. It's almost like this. You 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 know how you ever heard niggas niggas be like a, a, a dude had like a kid or whatever a baby, and you know what I'm saying he don't really be around. And then somebody will call a nigga dead be dad. And then nigga say some shit like, I bought the nigga some Jordans. You know what I'm saying? I be buying that nigga. I be buying that nigga a Feezy or whatever the, the, the in style gear is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really up on it. You know what I'm saying? And you be like, dog, that don't make you no good daddy. You know what I'm saying? That ain't that ain't what a good daddy is. Yeah, nigga, you spend some money. Because spending money don't take shit. It don't take nothing to go spend some money. You know what I mean? You can spend money without even getting it. You know what I mean? Yep. 
Hell, you can spend somebody else's money, to, to be honest, you know? So I don't make you no know, fucking good daddy. So, Zone, so I'm going to ask you and Rollo. <laughs> what, is there any way the man can save his legacy? Oh, hell yeah. In your eyes? Mm-hmm. What series of fights do he have, do, do he, would, he, would you like him to fight that you deem that would save his legacy? For one, if he, if he just, if he just, if he just balanced out the scales with the ethnicity of fighters that he fought, that would help to me, uh, uh, you know, substantially. You know what I mean? Like for instance, like for instance, imagine, you know how people always say LeBron James. Every time you turn around, somebody saying LeBron James is the best basketball player in the world, right? You know, you, you hear their all town, ESPN, and all these talk shows and shit, right? Imagine if every time you watch LeBron James, he was going up against Kevin Love, Mike Dunleavy, um, Ricky Rubio, you know what I'm saying? And ain't nothing wrong with those guys. They're good players. But you know the type of player that it's going to take to be able to be better or to stop LeBron James. And the thing about it is it's going to be a nigga who look like LeBron James that's going to be as good or better than LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Because when you talk about the greatest athletes in the history of sports, 89% of them look like us three on this phone. Am I correct? The greatest athletes in all the sports, dog. All the sports. So how if... If you consider Floyd the best of this era, right, the greatest fighter of this era, and some consider him the best of all time, wouldn't the next closest guy be like and be similar to Floyd Mayweather, if that makes sense? The, 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 the next best fighter is going to be somebody who's kind of like Floyd. And, and I don't mean necessarily fighting in that same style. But he gonna possess the attributes that Floyd Weather Floyd Mayweather possesses, which probably is gonna mean he's gonna be of the same descent. And and and, and I'm not trying to make it a race thing, but we all know when you go to the basketball court, if you got 15 guys to choose from and you ain't seen none of these motherfuckers hoop, nine times out of ten, it just in your mind, and you could be wrong. But you're going to assume that the 6'8 black dude who's slim and look like he in shape probably going to hoop a little better than the 6'8 white guy who's slim and look like he in shape. You're going to give, you going to, it's going to be apparent to you that the black guy might be a little more athletic and might be a little more inclined to be good at basketball than that white guy is. Not saying that that's going to be the case all the time. But when you look at the landscape, look at the NBA. When you see, when you say who is the best player in the NBA, who is it? You gonna, you know, you might say LeBron, you might say Kobe, you might say D Rose, Kevin Durant. But all them niggas got something similar. So when you talk about the best fighters, you just can't keep fighting O's and Z's, telling me that he's fighting the best fighters. If you, if, I don't know if I'm making sense to y'all. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But. Yeah, I know damn well that all of the best fighters don't come from south of the border. You know what I'm saying? And if you if you telling me that you are the best fighter, if you're saying out your mouth that you're the best fighter, don't tell me that a nigga named Alvarez and Marquez is the second best. Hold on, y'all. 